Um, yeah, what you want to talk about, man? Joe Budden or, or Cardi B? Yeah, we can talk about Joe Budden. All right. Um, in my bad, I got carried away with the topic. Oh, no, nah, you good, man. Um, and uh, you can probably talk, because you probably know a little bit more about the league, yeah. because I didn't really get to dig too much. Yeah, I mean, it's not too much to know, but basically, Tahiri was in an interview, uh, I can't remember with who, but basically, um, she started bringing up a lot of allegations about um, getting abused by Joe Button, basically. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Joe Budden said, hold up, man, let me pump, 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 pump it up. And he responded. And he was like, nah, that's not true. She's a liar. She needs to stop. That's still a pretty classic beat that's right there, man. Uh, I don't know who produced that. I wonder who produced that. It was that. just boys. I wonder. Yeah, we're talking about this because oh, he yeah, yeah, had, yeah. see, the rock, rock Boys passed up on this beat. Right. And, and then when they passed up on it, because see, this fellas has been... If I can find it, do I have that beat? That other beat? If I can find it, keep talking about finding it. Yeah. Group. So basically, um, she said that. Then Joe Budden responded, saying that basically she was lying. And uh, for the most part, all the evidence kind of validates that she may be lying. Because Joe was like, basically, I never abused her. If anything, she was abusing me. He said she was always jumping on me, trying to fight me, and blah blah blah. Um, according to her, she says she don't really fight at all, and she made some kind of light statement like, you know, if I fight, it's only to, to defend myself, but I'm not a fighter, and I don't never, I don't even touch anybody, you know, so she kind of made it out like, like she was so innocent, but, um, I don't know, man, some of the evidence I saw seemed like she might be lying, man. She, she might be lying. I don't know. You know, I'm gonna let y'all go check it out for yourself. But her interview was on Hollywood Unlocked. That's what it was. So it's it's a um a long video. It's like maybe an hour if y'all want to go check it out. But um, it's very interesting, man. Very interesting. And um, but yeah, Joe Budden has has absolutely denied everything. Said nah, that's that's not what it was at all. And, you know, he was like, yeah, I was the one getting abused, if anything. Yeah, yeah. You know? And then, go ahead. There's a lot of females like that, man, who just love drama. Drama, drama, yeah. and, and they don't really realize. Sometimes, I don't know if they don't realize or what it is, but they all sit there and say, well, I don't fight. I'm just, I'm not a fighter. You know, but you just jump on somebody. But they all yeah, say, well, I was just defending myself. You know? No. Nah, you don't defend yourself by whooping someone's ass for yeah, no damn reason. You don't come up there right. like, I'm just defending myself. Right. <laughs> yeah, you can't you take a hit to the face. I mean, especially if you're the one to do the first hit. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. You, know I mean? <laughs> you can't say you was defending yourself and yeah. hit the first hit. Yeah, I'm fearful of my life. You know? <laughs> he said some things. I walked in and he was smiling too damn hard. So yeah, I so I hit him. I hit him. I had to punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know, man. I don't know what to think, but based on what I've seen, it seems like she might not be telling the truth. But again, I'm not telling y'all what to believe. Go check it out for yourself. Um, but yeah, um, Joe Button, you know, he scored big with that beat, though. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Up yeah. Um, yeah, I thought I had that other beat that was probably been a follow up to, but yeah, I'll uh, yeah maybe next week. Yeah, maybe next week. <laughs> I um, I always liked it when he rapped on faster beats like that one. When he rapped on slower stuff, I always felt it was kind of boring for me. You know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, the, I think it, you know, and it was crazy yo, because like what was crazy because when I was kind of studying. You know, uh, I was looking at, and I forgot the YouTuber, but um, it was crazy. Like, damn, look how young Joe, Joe was. Like, he was fucking young. Like, it had had the black, had the, like Beijing shit. Right, man. right. Like, yo, <laughs> yo, yeah, it man. Was crazy, yo. Yeah, man. But yeah, man. Well, that's that's uh, that is what it is. So we gonna go ahead and talk about uh old Cardi B. Yeah. And Candace Owen. 
Ken is always a trip, man. Uh, what's up, man? I see you out there. Oh, Paul! Yeah, man. My, my man, 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 Paul! <laughs> Appreciate you doing that, man. Say, Paul! <laughs> don't let Paul sing it all. <laughs> now, this is old school gospel record. I forgot uh, who they was. But uh, they had this guy named Paul mm. and Robert. And every time Robert would be singing, like, sing, Robert. Sing, Robert. And now, don't let Paul <laughs> sing it all. Don't let Paul don't sing let it all. Not at all. <laughs> 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 yeah, man, we appreciate you joining yeah, us, man. man. Um, we we were just about to start talking about Cardi B and uh, Candace Owens. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, so weigh in whatever y'all want to weigh in on, but um, but yeah, so you know, Cardi B had her interview with uh, Joe Biden and uh, Candace Owens. You know, she always feel like she gotta say something about everything, so she went out there and started. Talking about Cardi and you know she, I, I, the thing is I don't care if you have an opinion about somebody, but she got really disrespectful and she was like, yeah, she's she said that uh, Cardi B was um, basically illiterate mm-hmm. and, uh, and 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 uh, uneducated and all kinds of stuff like that. And so and that you know how she's being used by the Democrats and all that, and she probably is to a certain degree. To but, a certain degree. But hell, what, you are too, bitch. Yeah, you, you are too. You, you used to well. You are too. I would say this. You're being used by the Republicans, and you just don't want to admit, it, man. I mean, because without this political commentary, what do you have? I will. I will say this. I think. I think Cardi is a, a lot smarter than what people give. Yeah. Um. Even with her sitting down with the president and stuff, I know there's a lot of things that people are saying. Like, well, you know, why is a ex stripper meeting with a potential pre- presidential right. candidate? Um, why did she, you know, give the answer? You know what I'm saying? And um, my, my my thing of it is, is this: you know, if you do follow Cardi B, Cardi B does talk about you know some topics and stuff. Yeah. Do I feel that she knows everything? No, no. of course not. No, she and she not. never claimed to be. No, you know, what I mean? think she. She knows what she knows, and she sees, you know, the things that she knows. This is it's in her environment, in her world that she sees it. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I do, but I do understand why people be like, well, you know what, this, this is an ex stripper. Why is it? Why is it that you know we got this? And you know, and like my man Paul said, it, that's right. The draw in the demographics, yeah, yeah. because they're, the Democratic Party, unfortunately, is kind of they're trying to drum up the young, uh, right. the young voters because they got the older voters. Yeah, they don't have the younger voters like they, you, you know, they kind of took stuff for granted. Yeah, but you know that's what I'm saying. True. And I mean, you know, I mean, and I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm sure they are. I'm sure Joe Biden is using Cardi B to an extent. Cause I mean, he wants to win, but hell, I mean, the Republicans act like Trump ain't doing the same thing. I mean, every time I see it, it's funny because I just saw a Trump commercial the other day, and it was a guy, older guy, looked like he was maybe in the 60s, and uh, talking about how uh, Trump was so helpful to him and did all this stuff and supports veterans and this and that, and talking about Joe Biden ain't good enough and he don't know nothing about this and that. And it was an older black guy. Oh, so, to me, it seems like you know he always makes sure he for no types of commercials. He, he always chooses a minority to make sure it looks like he supports the minority uh, groups, and he really doesn't. It's like you know you wouldn't um, you wouldn't even spoke stamina. to that dude. <laughs> stamina, stamina. She doesn't have the stamina. It's one of my only good traits. <laughs> Yo, I mean, if y'all can't see through this fool, man, I mean, Trump is a con artist, man. And I've been saying that since day one. He's a salesman and he's a con artist, man. But like I said, that's not that's not you know to say that about him is not that I'm so pro Democrat, but you know I definitely think that we would be a little bit better off with with, with, with Joe more so than, than Trump. I'm not you know trying to sway nobody to vote, but. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not supporting Trump just because y'all say, oh, Joe Biden, you know, he hugs people too long and, you know, he, he, he did this and he did that and, uh, yeah, y'all just trying to get the, 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 the creepy Joe. 
Right. Yeah. 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 Sniffing the hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, yeah, he probably was going a little overboard with that. But yeah. I mean, my God, come on, man. You got you got Trump talking about grabbing women right by that. Come in. <laughs> uh, how you doing? Uh, <laughs> Got Joe who just sniffed a little bit. <laughs> I mean, come on, they yeah, both wrong. Boy, I'm about to say, I think Joe will probably sniff more than that hair. He probably sniffed some cocaine. Me backstage, girl. We yeah, sniffed it some more. Yeah, <laughs> you know? Yeah. But, uh, you know, I just, um, I, I don't know, man. I, I'm not, I'm not even going to get too deep into that, but I just know, uh, I ain't, you know, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't supporting Trump at all. It ain't nothing you can tell me. Candace Owens can tell me Trump just freed a thousand slaves, and I still wouldn't do it. Dang you! I still wouldn't do it. Yeah, after after about freed about a thousand of those guys. I, I wasn't counting. I was just, right. I, I was just freeing them, just freeing them, you know, just right. Just that's what I do. You know? <laughs> what I do. That's what I do. I got the stamina. I got the stamina free. <laughs> Joe Biden wouldn't free him. So I, freed, I, freed. I freed more slaves than Harriet Tubman. <laughs> he oh, he, he said that would be... He just said something like that too though. Talking about how he done more than all the other presidents. Because it was one day he was talking about um, how he did more. He was like, the only one who might have come close is Abraham Lincoln. But everybody else, I did more. Yep. I was like, dude, you need to stop, man. You need to stop. But, you know, I just... As far as Candace Owens goes, man, I don't really have a problem with you voicing your opinion, but when you just blatantly call people, like, illiterate and say that, you know, you're basically calling her dumb. It's just... It's it's not cool, man. Nobody's going to support you when you're tearing down another woman. And you're supposed to be so pro-woman. But you're tearing down another woman. And you're trying to tell us how Trump does all this great stuff and that you support Trump and how um, Cardi B is wrong for supporting Joe Biden. Now that's one thing I will say that Cardi B brought up that was well that you know the reason why he didn't she didn't support Trump. She has a sister that's um, trans. Yeah. Oh she's trans? Tra- not trans. I thought no, she was just she gay. gay. Yeah gay. That's yeah but that's she's fine. black and she's pretty much black. Yeah. You know black and Latina like Afro Latina. Uh-huh. And uh, the Trump supporters, she said Trump supporters have bashed her and, and this, that, and the third. So, and that was the reason why that she didn't really, yeah. you know, she wanted yeah, him she out all the She got, she got like death threats from some of his supporters, man. Mm-hmm. I'm like, come on, man. And then, you know, you got Candace Owens piling on top of that. It's like, you, you, don't, you don't even realize how stupid you sound. When you throw shots at a woman like that, and you cause all these other people to get riled up, thinking, "Oh yeah, I should throw some shots at her too and do this and this." Well, I just you know, my I thing know. is this too, because like I want to shout out my man, uh, Var Dog. He knew what I'm talking about, and uh, he was sharing this post about you know this one. I think this person. I don't I don't know the person, uh-huh. but they pretty something like God's blood. God bless Dixie. And they were talking about like, you know, rape, you know, whites, and, you know, this, you know, white supremacy group and stuff. Okay. And my thing of it is, is this, man. It's like I wish people would really stop and think and understand that, you know, those people that are telling you that black people are bad and they're doing all this stuff. Those guys that telling you that. They don't like you, man. Right, exactly. They don't think it's don't all know. divide and conquer. Yeah. They just gave the whole skin color thing. That was just to get you to play on a team. You know, oh, y'all on the team. Y'all wear the jersey. Right. But uh, don't sit on this bench, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> don't sit on this don't bench. Don't sit on the bench, nigga. Y'all, yeah. y'all got y'all, y'all, y'all got to stay in there. Right, right. We might we might roll up in here and do a couple plays and shit, but we gonna be back in the cup and yeah, nah, I'll stay in there. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, man. But yep. Yeah. But yeah, I just find it so funny, man, that, that somebody like Candace Owens is just talking about how, you know, people shouldn't follow Cardi B because she's not smart, she's illiterate. 
but then you turn around and support the most dumbest, illiterate person in the world who's actually the president, who got very, very bigly, very bigly. Very big. And I have yeah, little, baby. and I have little hands. I'm trying to get my hands. <laughs> I'm trying to get my hands small. You shit. know, and I can't. <laughs> oh, I dropped my water. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have the stamina to hold the water like I hold it. It's <laughs> just how I was taught, cause my hands. <laughs> He's always, man, throwing shots at something, man. Man, you know what horrible um, Trump the president. <laughs> I was talking about going to do Keith Sweat or some shit today. <laughs> right, Fucking Keith Trump. Sweat. <laughs> ain't, ain't too much going on for once. Right. For one. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm glad that Cardi B didn't back down because, you know, she went in, you know, she talked her junk too. And um, I think Cardi B is very... Uh, She's very intelligent. Yeah, she may not um, come off very eloquent as far as when she yeah. speaks, but she's intelligent. Yeah, she you know, knows. She knows. Is, is intelligent. We kind of get what she's trying to right. say. Right, right. And, I mean, she never claimed to be a scholar or anything, but she's smart, and she's doing the right thing by using her platform to encourage people. You know what I mean? So, why are you knocking her for doing that? You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I mean, I just, I can't, I can't, man. Can't do it. Can't support nobody like Candace Owens, man. Uh, do we have any other topics uh, to talk about? Man. Oh! We need to talk about Grandmaster oh, J. Yes, almost forgot. Yes. So, Grandmaster J. Yes. Man. Yeah, there's been a lot of things. You know, we. First of all, we want to say we as a tried hip hop podcast, uh, we track any statement that we were saying that we <laughs> like this thing. <laughs> Grandmaster Jamie getting caught up out there, man. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah. So, you know, there's been some videos surfacing over the past few weeks of, you know, him doing stuff that's questionable. I mean, they showed him at a Trump rally. Yeah, uh, I've actually seen that. Video. Yeah, and and it looked like he was doing stuff, like he was he he part he was of dressed the, part of the stu- uh, the song security. Sir, yeah, yeah, he looked like he was dressed like security and uh, like he could have been Secret Service. There was times when he was motioning to Trump, like he was trying to let him know I got it, you know, because like he was sitting in the rows right behind Trump, and fights were kept breaking out, and he would turn around, and, you know what I mean, and. Uh, and he kept kind of letting Trump signal to Trump, like, yeah, I got it, don't worry about it, you know. I got your back, Massey. I got your back. Now you paid me them good dollars to get your back. There was also another thing that he was talking about. There was a gun that he had. And oh, when they yeah, were talking was about it, and they were shit. talking about that, the gun, and I'm not a gun expert by any means, but right. the gun that he had when it dropped, it, yeah. it, it, it discharged. And yeah. they said it was like a 1990 some type of uh, Brandon system. But anyway, I don't know. I'm not. I'm yeah. not an advocate because one of person. his people, I think, accidentally shot the gun. And so <clears throat> Grandmaster Jay was trying to um, explain to people well, this is how it happened. If the chamber is cocked back and it hits the ground, you see it shoot. You know what I mean? And um, <clears throat> a lot of people who really know how to use these guns. We're putting out videos saying no, he's yeah, absolutely no. wrong. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter if the little chamber thing pops up, the trigger does not get engaged at all. So, you know, and I mean they weren't trying to be disrespectful. They were just like, if you want to talk about these guns, at least speak the facts. Don't just feed people a bunch of BS because they don't know what they're talking about. One thing is scary about this, especially if he especially if he is we Allegedly, yeah, we we gonna, we gonna get a legend, but anyway, <laughs> if um, you know he was a um, worked for the government, yeah, it is scary how almost close they were, if you will. If you go back on the stories and listen to him, you know he was like he was in the hip hop. He was like saying right. shit like, "Oh well, you know we need to do this. We need to get some more diversity on the radio." Da 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 da. da. Like he was actually a yeah. DJ. Yeah, man, this <laughs> shit is crazy. Speaking of DJ, there was a video where it was kind of um, showing that he wasn't really a good DJ because he, you know, he keep bragging on this fact that he was a DJ. 
<laughs> and um, I saw two videos. There was one where some, some music was playing, and like, let's say this table was the turntable, and he kept doing these moves with his hands, but he wasn't even touching the table. Damn! He was just doing something. How the hands. fuck? He was doing little hand gestures. <laughs> And then I was like, okay, but you're not doing nothing, bro. You're not, you're not fooling nobody. It was so funny. And um, then there was another one where uh, he was, he was DJing at a party or something, and um, he was like, yeah, I'm about to get busy on the turntable. He kept bragging about it. It was like he just kept talking, and he never actually got around to playing the music or doing any mixing or any of that. And it was just like, okay, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Do we have to say like? Yo, who is this? Right. I, I'm, I'm kind of questioning, man, because I mean, you know, I ain't never been no big gun enthusiast or anything, but I was rocking with you because I'm like, okay, at least he's one of them people who's willing to stand up. But a lot of people was like, okay, but what else are you doing? Because all you're doing, you putting boots on the ground, but you ain't doing nothing else. Yeah, and the thing is scary, but like I said, the thing that was kind of scary about it is just that you had people, I mean, I kind of... Honestly, I will say this as far as like the imagery and like black people, you know, like a black militia, I do like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. I do like the fact that hey, you know, we, we need to, you know, be in be up in arms to be able to protect our right. protect our businesses, our, <clears throat> our our lives we could. I understand that. Yeah. But I think a lot of it some stuff we ain't ready for. Right. We just gonna right. be real with you. That's like, true. That's you know really what I'm saying? True. Like we don't want no. I, I personally don't want no race war, but I think a lot, and that's probably why they sent him. You know what I'm saying? They they want this to happen. They want this to happen because for whatever reason. But the words of kid are, "You'll be all right." <laughs> Nigga, we we gonna gonna be, be all right. All right. <laughs> we gonna be all right. Yeah, man. Yeah. But you know, when they first, when I first started seeing the videos about him being fake, I wasn't really rocking with it. But once I saw him at that Trump rally, I was like, oh man, come yeah. on, man, what are you yeah. doing? Yeah. And I mean, he was sitting right behind him, and you know, the person who was narrating the video was, you know, just pointing out all the little things he did. Like there was a, um, it was a Grandmaster J. A white lady, yeah. Then there was a white dude, and yep. there was a, a couple times where the white dude did stuff like he handed him something real soon, yeah, 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 he yeah. Put it in his pocket, yeah. And then, uh, at one time the white dude tapped him to let him know, you know, to kind of signal him to do something about the fighting in the back, mm -hmm. and um, and then there was one part where he was blatantly uh communicating with Trump, Trump, yeah. Trump turned around and he kind of let him know, um, about something because Trump was concerned about, you know, do I need to stop. And he was like, no, no, keep going. You good, I got it. You know, kind of like like one of those. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, dude, I mean, how obvious can it be? Now, I heard that he's responded to that and so supposedly made up some kind of lie about, you know, why he was there. I'm going to have to go check that out because I haven't looked at it. I'm going to be honest. But, I mean, ain't much to say, man. I mean, you was there. And you look like security. You suck. Curry. Top of the world, Craig. <laughs> you know, top flight. <laughs> but yeah, it's just you know what I'm saying. And just like I want to shout out Lord Jamal because you know okay. that's something. Like I said, they they invited this man to, to his podcast. Yeah, and you know he he, he did it respectfully. Yeah. A lot, a whole lot more respectfully than we can. Kind of, well, right. me anyway. But uh, <laughs> so he was like, yeah, I, I don't think we really need to be. You know, falling behind this guy, and, yeah. you know, and that's not the you know, just you know, discredit him or anything like that. But I don't think this is the person that because he he even said like some of the stuff that he was saying, yeah, it's kind of awful, yeah. And so, yes, yeah. so I mean, it's too much stacked up against you. You give him bad advice about guns, and <clears throat> a lot of stuff just sound like you lying just to save face. Um, and then, you know, we've seen you at Trump rallies. I mean, if you're supposed to be so pro-black and, you know, anti-Trump, you ain't going to be right front row at his, his rally. And you're not going to be communicating directly with him. You know what I mean? So, I don't know what you are, but you ain't you ain't just, you know, for the people. Something you done right. fucked around, you know, with the not fucking around. <laughs> right. That's what you did. You know? Fucked up yeah, not man. fucking around. So I don't know, man. Y'all let us know what y'all think about 
uh, Mix Master J. <laughs> I don't call him Mix Master J. Miss Miss Backlund. I'm so good on the turntables, I ain't even got to touch them. <laughs> you know, DJ used to do what they know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I don't know, man. I mean, we'll see, man. But I, I definitely think something ain't right. I don't know. Uh, we about to lose Instagram. Yo, there you go. Damn, damn. Missed it. I wasn't even ready. But um, so I guess we've been going for about an hour. So uh, you know, we can kind of wrap it up. But yeah, yeah. I mean, Grandmaster J, you know, you might want to clarify some things, man. Yeah. Uh, man. And, and, and give something that sounds factual, not just, oh yeah, I was just at Trump's uh, rally because uh, I was scoping out the competition. I know you are. I <laughs> know you are. You weren't oh, scoping out nobody's man. competition. You know, I don't know what you were doing, but you definitely uh, seemed like you was Team Trump. You know, and I mean, everybody's entitled to support yeah. who they want to support, but. You know, if you're if you're a Trump supporter and that's what you really are, then you might want to go ahead and just say that, because uh, you're not rallying me for no no uh, Trump support. I can't do it. It's it's too much evidence evidence against Trump, and it's now too much evidence and evidence against you. You. So uh, yeah, I'm good. But yeah, um, I gotta I gotta send you some of the videos I saw, man. They were funny, man. Oh, with was great. Oh, uh, great uh, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, I mean. It, like I said, I'm 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 I'm, I'm pro black. I'm not necessarily anti white. I'm pro black, but uh, pro black don't mean I just move. I'm actually getting a shirt that says pro black. Well, I, I, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that. Right. I'm gonna show that when I get it. Right. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I'm blah, gonna blah, show, blah. say ultra black, like nah, you know, what black, ultra black, ultra black, opposite of those black. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> mine might say blackity black, blackity black. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. Uh, but yeah, man. So, um, but yeah, Grandmaster J, you got some explaining to do. Explaining. You got some explaining to do. Explaining. Um, you know, I, I heard something about he stepped down. Like, I don't want to lead the, the NFAC no more. So I'm going to let somebody else kind of take the wheel since everybody jumping on me. I don't know. But well, see, if you're a leader, you shouldn't, that shouldn't, you shouldn't have to be right. Right. You shouldn't have to. Yeah. I mean, but then at the same time, too, that kind of does show leadership. Like, hey, look, you know, fucking up. But that yeah, is I mean, crazy. But he's he not really admitting that he's fucking up. He's yeah. just basically saying, I'm tired of y'all mouth, so I'm just walking away. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's so, not, yeah, we yeah. don't know the person, next right. person they get in might be a little, you yeah. know, on the same thing. Yeah. But that's another thing, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Again, it, it's just crazy how good, good. They almost had Right, right. Yeah, man. I was definitely, uh, you know, supporting old boy. But, you know, I ain't, I ain't trying to turn into no militant or nothing like that. But I was supporting, you know what I mean? Trying to check yeah. out his page and listen to his messages and all of that. Yeah, you know some of his messages are all right. Yeah. But, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, a little much. You know? But I don't know, man. I, it's, it's hard to trust people nowadays, you know? You can't, oh, yeah. I mean, somebody that that's supposed to be that pro-black. You know, you you finding out all of this stuff, and um, there's a uh, I saw a video where they were kind of made it into a battle. Mm -hmm. Professor Griff versus Tariq Rashid. Yeah, yeah. Were, I didn't get the chance to check yeah. that out. And they were both talking about Grandmaster J, and Griff was kind of pro Grandmaster J. He was like, "Yeah, he might have made some mistakes. You've seen him do bad stuff, but that don't mean we should stop supporting." Him. And Tariq Nasheed was like, nah, fuck that. I'm not supporting him. He, he, he worked for the government. Something ain't right. I ain't doing it. Fuck this <laughs> Tariq Nasheed, oh, he, yeah, he, he was like, uh -uh. He was like, I ain't doing it. He said, I trusted the dude at first, but now I'm out. Yeah. I'm tapping out. Damn. And I'm I, you know, I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of riding with Tariq on that one. Riding with Tariq. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. 
Damn, Damn, Griff. Yeah, Griff. Griff was like, and I was surprised because I'm like, Griff is supposed to be the blackity blackity is pro blackity. Yeah, and Griff, you been on it. Yeah, so it's like, what? The, you know, are we missing something about you too? Dang. <laughs> you know. Dang. <laughs> I don't know, man. What do you think about all this? Yeah, like I said, I had to go back and watch that interview because I did see it. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I, I know that him and him and Tariq ain't got no beef beef or nothing like that. Right. So, I mean, I'm, 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 the way yeah. you describe, I think it's like a, just a debate. And I, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, because it was two separate videos, but they were just mashing them together. They would play Tariq and then they would play Griff and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, it was just interesting, man. Hold on one second. Yeah, Tariq been on it, man. Tariq yeah. been on it, for real. But yeah, so I, you know, I just thought it was kind of funny, man. They were addressing each other in their videos, you know what I mean? Um, they were basically, you know, trying to tell people, you know, that they don't understand why you would support the other guy's theory. So, uh, I don't know, man. But anyway, man, so, uh, but that's pretty much all I had, man. Did you have any, anything else you want to add? Uh, well, I was like this. Remember, Anchor. Yeah. We're on Anchor. I'm about to do this the first podcast. Um, first of all, I want to say to all our listeners, I do apologize for not getting that up. Uh, first of all, I'm going to stop saying nice. What I will say is, just look for it Wednesday after, you know, you know, before 12 o'clock a.m., it will be uploaded. I will try to get it around that, you know, around yeah. that time. So, and remember, we are with Anchor, we on that, and we on Spotify and other things. So, yeah, yeah just come and check us out. We appreciate you listening. We appreciate our, you know, the new uh, listeners that we got yeah. uh, this week. We also appreciate, you know, some of the old ones that rock with us. Yeah, and, man. Um, if you get us to, you know, get us to, you know, where we need to go, I might, you know what I'm saying? We got some toothbrushes and stuff we might be able to <laughs> Hook I you up. Up. Yeah, we hook you up, man. <laughs> gingivitis is real. Yeah, Forget the coronavirus. <laughs> gingivitis is real. <laughs> you know <what> <laughs> <laughs> that's still funny man. oh man that's hilarious but yeah man so for episode 132 this is your man Uncle Kurt and this is Howie Hitman Howie Hit we're gonna man. see y'all on the next alright peace, peace.